I think we are so conservative that we just think that, okay, we did it last year, so we have to do it again. As simple as that? Uh, as simple as that, I think. But on the other hand, uh, it would be nice that if the original idea of Tampere Film Festival would be fulfilled, that we would find ourselves that we are not needed. It would be actually nice because the idea was that we want and we wanted from the beginning to bring short films and, and serious uh, film in the cinemas on the side of the films that we usually see. So let's say when short film has its place in cinemas uh, as it should, then maybe we will stop. But uh, unfortunately, I think we will run a few years more. With just a week before the 45th Tampere Film Festival opens, festival director Jukka Pekalakso talked to us about the art of cinema and just what makes a memorable short film. I think it is to have a great idea because the thing is that when you make a short film, you need a big idea. Anyone knows who sees feature films nowadays in cinemas, the so-called big films, you need that you can make a big budget film without big ideas. But you need an idea. You need to know what you are saying. And then, of course, you need skill. You need to know how to put that idea into pictures, into scenes, into sounds. And then uh, there's, I think, a little bit of luck also. Because one has to also remember that we, for instance, like all the other festivals, we always bring up the director of the film. And, and the director usually gets the most attention. But I do believe that film is, in many cases, uh, a sum of, of many talented people. So um, it takes luck that you have the special kind of, of uh, group of people who manage to do something together. So luck helps, uh, skills in, in filmmaking tools is necessary and the idea is, is the beginning. Uh, we believe also in the art of cinema, let's say. Uh, we believe that cinema is, a, is, is one of the arts and it's also a uh, very interesting art. It's an art that has a lot to say to, to people. It's, it's popular art still, and it still is very in touch of the world. And it, of course, cinema nowadays, it also has tools uh, to, to do many things that were not before possible. So our aim is to remind that cinema is art, not just entertainment or, or a money-making machine. Since the beginning, it was for five days to uh, show on big screens films that you usually don't see in cinemas. I think that's still the, the, the main idea. Of course, the world has changed around us, so the films are a little bit different, but still it's about the same thing. So no feature-length fiction, but short films, documentaries, and of course, this is a festival, and uh, a festival is not just films, but it is meeting of people. So we do our best to, to, to make people meet, talk, uh, bring new ideas. There's um, one aim also that has been our aim from the beginning, is to break the idea that uh, the world is as we see it from, from Europe and in Europe. Because if you look the world from another perspective, uh, let's say if you look it from the Asian perspective, African perspective, it looks different. And we really want to bring the whole world into the screens. And there again, show something that you usually don't see in screens. China is now, even more than before, let's say, uh, important to the whole world. China was isolated by itself and by, by other powers for a long time. But now China is very much in the world and, and we are told 
again and again about the importance of, of Chinese economy, about Chinese this, but uh, I think that we should actually learn more also about what's happening in, in the arts, in the, in the cinema of, of China. And of course, now we can only show a little bit of it, but uh, hopefully we can show something that people haven't seen. Films that are not made for us to, to uh, let's say, to support our uh, ideas of what China should look like, but more like uh, seeing China through the eyes of Chinese filmmakers. And I think that is very important. That is something that should be done more. I think the Tampere Film Festival and other film festivals, the art scene in, in Europe, has been and is too Eurocentric. We think we know the best things in, for the whole world. We think that we have the best of everything. And there's a little bit of arrogance. We will keep the arrogance definitely, but I think we want to show that we want to, let's say, at least challenge it a little bit. Tampere Film Festival is not only showing uh, Academy Awarded films, uh, the Oscar films, but Tampere is in a way is also a way towards Oscars because the Grand Prix winner of our international and, and uh, short film section in the national competition, they are eligible to try to get a nomination to the Oscars, which is kind of a like, way to, to get there. So this is something that, let's say, the, the uh, Academy in the United States have noted us already I think 20 years ago, what we have been doing. And do you have anything to say to people considering coming to the 45th Tampere Film Festival? First of all, welcome. And the next is, of course, if you don't know where to begin, just pick up, for instance, any competition screening of short films, uh, because they are the most varied of, of, of uh, all programs, and you can see the scope of of possibilities in filmmaking. So just plunge in and of course uh, try to get also into discussions, meetings with filmmakers because that makes it the festival even more interesting to, to hear what people have to say about their films. And of course be courageous, talk to people. This is what the festival is all about.